NBC Sports welcomes you to Burger King College Football today. Burger King, got the urge? Few lines more distinctly drawn than the one that separates burnt orange from crimson and cream. The Texas-Oklahoma battle rages on. If you were born in Oklahoma, Sunday dinner no doubt brought tales of sooner glory. The genius of Barry Switzer, the indomitable spirit of the Boz, and the relentless power of the wishbone. The battle cry from the north was unmistakable. Beat Texas. A childhood spent in Austin was once spent worshiping at a different altar. The brilliance of Darrell Royal, the thunder of Earl Campbell, and oh yeah, the wishbone. The echoes growing louder up I-35 beat Oklahoma. The rivalry's kept its tradition, but the game now is all Y2K. Josh Heupel and the Sooners lead the Big 12 in passing. Major Applewhite and the Longhorns score 41 points a game. It's the first Red River shootout of the new millennium. Yes. The 95th edition of the Red River Shootout has national implications. ABC Sports welcomes you to Burger King College Football today. It is 10th ranked Texas and 12th ranked Oklahoma. Great to see you again, everyone. I'm Sean Grady. You know, from the first day, they put stakes in the Red River to separate them. Oklahomans and Texans have had one thing in common. They don't like each other very much, especially on this day, which has become something of a holiday, although today there'll be 48 other states watching very intently because for the first time in 16 years, both of these teams are ranked in the top 15. But before you all wax nostalgic, this is not your granddaddy's Texas-Oklahoma game. Gone is the clock-chewing wishbone in two of the top six passing teams in the entire nation. To the first 93 meetings between these two schools, no quarterback had ever thrown for 300 yards. Last year, Major Applewhite and Josh Heupel both did. To Times Square Stadium in New York to get you ready for a big day, we join Terry Gannon and Terry Bowden. Never mind the cold and the rain in Dallas, Texas today. I can promise you it is simmering right now in the Cotton Bowl. My pleasure to bring in David Norrie. He joins me upstairs saying, David, everywhere you go in the state of Texas, they're not talking about Gore and Bush. They're talking about Sims and Applewhite, the Texas quarterback controversy. But should there really be one? Well, Sims is going to be a great one, and he might even get the start this afternoon. But when the chips are down, Texas goes with Major Applewhite. He's 2-0 against Oklahoma. He had the best passing day in the history of this rivalry a year ago. On the other side of the coin, Oklahoma, their whole program is is centered around the quarterback position now. Josh Heupel, he's off to a red-hot start, hitting 67% of his balls. But the key to the game today, can Oklahoma protect him, and can they take care of the football on offense? Major implications of the Big 12 South. Bevo's ready, so are we. Opening kickoff is next. Who will be at quarterback? I don't think there was a lot of question about Major Applewhite getting this start this week. Yeah, and talking to the head coach for Oklahoma earlier this week, Bob Stoops, he said, no doubt about it, the difference in the game a year ago was Major Applewhite. We put him on the turf 15, 16 times, and he still made the big plays down the field in the passing game. Got the Jayhawks three and out. On first down, Applewhite gives to Hodges Mitchell, and he does not have much. We take a look at the Texas starting lineup, the Chile starting lineups, and here's an offensive line that loves its baby back ribs. They've actually trimmed down this year to an average 329 pounds per man. Leonard Davis, the dancing bear, will be a first-round pick. Hodges Mitchell, you saw on the first carry, a career-high 204 yards on the ground in the game last year. Flowers and Healy will start at the wide receiver spot, but you will see the Texas triplets, the three true freshman receivers in this game today that have caused quite a stir. Delay for Oklahoma, an unheralded group. Freshmen don't have a great history of producing big in this game, say maybe Brian Westbrook a couple of years ago, but Corey Klein is a good one. At linebacker, Marshall is a stud. You will love watching Rocky Kalmus play, playing with a ton of injuries. JT Thatcher had three interceptions last week, but Roy Williams is playing as well as any safety in the country right now. Second and 13 now after the penalty for Applewhite. They'll try Mitchell again, and he's got nothing. 
is going to be a third and 15 on their first third down try. It's complete to one of the true freshmen, Roy Williams. He's got about six. But Oklahoma does exactly what they did to Kansas last week. They get the stop, the three and out stop, which is why they deferred in the first place. And they're going to have to put pressure on Applewhite, harass him in the pocket. Texas has had a bunch of kicks blocked in the last couple of years. JT Thatcher will let this one roll. 37-yard punt by Chris Stockton, and Oklahoma will have excellent field position to begin their opening drive. He has emerged at age 22 as one of the premier quarterbacks now in the country. And Heupel's had some great work in the offseason with former Heisman runner-up Chuck Long. And Chuck Long, of course, three-time first-team Big Ten quarterback efficiency in the 2000 season. If you've been in a time capsule, how bizarre must it be to see Oklahoma open in the shotgun, and on their opening play, Josh Norman has a first down. Chile's starting lineups on the Oklahoma side an underappreciated group, a lot of them playing new positions. They are typified by Bubba Bircher, a former walk-on, who is now a captain and the leader of this offensive line. Quentin Griffin will start. He will split time with the true freshman Ronaldo Works. Andre Wolfolk is a playmaker in a very underrated group and a deep group of wide receivers for Oklahoma in support of the senior Josh Heifel who had a brilliant start to this game one year ago, hitting 11 of his first 12 as Oklahoma jumped to a 17-0 first quarter lead. Hypo over the middle has Antoine Savage, and he's close to another Oklahoma first down. Out of the ball, a slow starting group for Texas. Hampton is one of the best in the country, but his partner, Sean Rogers, remains sideline. That means the freshman, Marcus Tubbs, will make another start at the tackle spot. D.D. Lewis gets all the attention, but Texas coaches will tell you Everett Rawls is every bit his equal. Very talented group in the secondary. Jackson is healthy again. Quentin Jammer has an NFL future. Back-to-back -back first downs for Heupel out of the shotgun to begin. They try the middle screen, and this one is open for him. Savage has eight more. An offense. It's been the game plan all week long in preparation. Keep that number 14 jersey clean. Protect Heifel in the pocket. And Texas's defense has a very talented front four. Even with Sean Rogers out, dinged up. Texas defense up front, very athletic. They need to get in. Extraordinary numbers. Texas has put up defensively, leading the Big 12 in third down defense. Heifel going to go for the end zone. Got a man. Touchdown. Andre Wolfolk and a perfectly thrown ball by Josh Heupel and just like a year ago, Oklahoma strikes quickly. Perfect fade ball from Heupel. Great protection in the pocket. Babers the cornerback beaten and the protection was not that bad, but Wolfolk, exceptional speed. Did I tell you to fasten your seatbelts? We are just getting warmed up. Josh Heupel is already warm. Oklahoma by seven outside. You're sitting on your couch thinking this is an instant replay of the start from one year ago. Out to the 18-yard line and buried was Ivan Williams. Don't let Texas get going on the ground. That'll set things up for their offense. Texas has been somewhat inconsistent running the ball this year, Sean. The game out west. Hodges Mitchell buried again and Talked about the difficulties, David, of Texas running the football. Well, Oklahoma clearly today, and they told us this, they're going to make Texas run the ball and prove they can do it. Third down try. Apple White has Hodges Mitchell over the middle. If he can beat the one man, he'll have a shot at it. He does. Bounces off a second and has a first down. Derek Strait, the quarterback, had the last shot at Hodges Mitchell. And that's a big play by the Texas running back to get them their first first down. A super move after the catch from the tailback position. Remember, it is difficult for everybody to pivot, especially defensively, and get your footing on the wet field. And again, Oklahoma stacks against the run and stops them on first down. Take away the running game and then bring the heat on the pass run. Bob Stoops, defensive coordinator, Kansas State and at Florida. Won a national championship with Steve Spurrier. Another third and long for Applewhite. This time over the middle, he's going to be close to that first down. Mike Jones, a tight end, and it appears he's about a yard short. When 
talking about Oklahoma, Texas. How about a 1984 when Texas came in number one and Oklahoma number two? Here's the play they're still talking about. Keith Stansberry appears to have picked this ball off, but they say his feet were not in bounds. That allowed Texas to hit a game time field goal off the foot of Jeff Ward. Fred Akers would end up with a 15 15 tie. One of the Texas Longhorns. Texas lost the number one ranking the following week and never regained it. That was 16 years ago. Off the first play from scrimmage, pass deflected. In the driver's seat now. Facing a third and long for the first time. Hypo thinks about running for it. Great decoy. He finds Griffin for a first down. Great awareness by Heupel to know exactly where the line of scrimmage was. Big 12 in total offense, passing, touchdown passes a year ago. And what a start he is off to for the second straight year in the Red River shootout. The defensive play made by D.D. Lewis, the middle linebacker. Heupel, the shovel pass, which they use so effectively. Griffin popped several big plays with it last week, and he's got one here. Pass like a draw. They utilize it to slow down the pass rush. We talked about the talent of Texas up front. The ball dropped off to Griffin, and he is the perfect back. He has a great gift for starting and stopping. Perfect back for the shuttle pass. Make sure the catch. A nice job of advancing the football down. Of his receiving yards are yards after the catch. Now he'll try some yards after receiving the ball. And he is close to another first down, down near the 30-yard line. Oklahoma is having their way right now. Look at this, 17 games now for Bob Stoops, the head coach at Oklahoma. His team has had the lead in every single game. Hypo on the sneak, scored a touchdown that way last week against Kansas here. He has himself another first down. And how about the start that Josh Hypo has had? He's thrown for nearly 100 yards. We only played 10 minutes. Heupel on first down, now it breaks down, flares it off, complete. Matt Anderson, the senior tight end with his first catch of the year. Number two tight end to make this type of catch. This is a beautiful play. Watch big number 90 go up. Took him a while to secure the football, was loose, but he did, did bring the catch in just before he hit the turf, and he gives the Sooners a first down. That's Fagan, the receiver in motion, bottom of your screen. Heupel. Out of bounds inside the one. Trent Smith. And Smith certainly thought so. Heupel again delivering the ball on time to the outside, perfectly positioned on the catch. Another look from the reverse angle. Pearson coming on the blitz. If the Sooners can get one more yard, this won't matter, but it appears that Trent Smith was in the end zone. Now we got a nice big picture right here you're going to see smith watch his right foot he's going to step out of bounds even though he gets the football inside the cone the right foot's out quentin griffin is the setback he'll get it on the option and he's in they better fire up the schooner because oklahoma's on a roll Duncan, that's the extra point. They may not be number one yet, but a performance like this could put them deep into the top ten. One more look at the Quentin Griffin touchdown, his fifth of the year. Heupel comes out, he threatens Pittman, the defensive end makes Pittman commit, and then just shuffles it off to Griffin. Here's an end zone view, 44, takes the quarterback. And a nice job, tough running down near the goal line. Well, the Sooner faithful are going to make it difficult for them. Hodges Mitchell gets a couple and takes a big pop. White has been facing second and long, third and long the entire first quarter. Apple White has time. And a man, great move by Montrell Flowers, and he's going to be up close to a first down, giving Major Apple White at least a third and short to look at. The ball game, but. Texas still in negative numbers in rushing yards. They need at least one on third down, and they're not going to get it. Roy Williams comes up to make the big play, and Texas, again, will have to kick it away. Kicker and the putter on this Texas team, only the third guy in the last 25 years to handle both responsibilities. JT Thatcher's going to have a shot to return this one. He will into Texas territory. 
Beats the first, but not the second, and Josh Heupel is going to be looking at a short field again. There are only 13 unbeaten teams remaining in 1A football, and one of them has a 14-0 lead here. Not much for Seth Luttrell. Like a lot of his teammates, he is in much better shape in the year 2000 than he was a year ago. And it has paid off. He's got a world of time here, and a man over the middle, complete, Damian Mackey. First down and more. Now to the 26. Operated quarterback. Quentin Griffin is ripped down. Texas needed a big play on defense. And they finally get one from Basher. Oklahoma with a 14-point lead and the ball. And a quarterback who's playing with a ton of confidence right now. Heifel has got a big gap. He will slide down inside the 13. They have laid some pretty good licks on him here in the first half. Longhorns need to make a big play here. Heifel going end zone again for Wolfolk, and there's the big play. Flag is down. Jammer came up with the interception, but hold the phone. These games come like clockwork. It is inevitable. Well, now, now they say they, against Texas. They say it's going to go against Texas, and the Texas players were celebrating. It looked like the call was going to go the other way. Yeah, and there's a bit of a push-off there with the left hand. It was not only a one-handed interception, but a one-handed push-off by Jammer. And you don't catch it right there because it happened just to count earlier. Griffin is in. Well, Griffin's going to pick up his second touchdown, and we talked about the pass blocking by the Oklahoma offensive line. They're starting to get things revved up. Oklahoma Sooners through the first quarter plus. They're up by 21. Good shape. They have a favorable schedule. See the numbers on Applewhite. And the problems have been running the ball. This one is thrown behind Mike Jones. Applewhite's Major just his Applewhite's second back. incompletion in seven tries. Major Applewhite's fault, but the quarterback situation comes into play here at Texas. Applewhite throws it deep. Has a man down there, and he had it. Lost it. Incomplete. It was Roy Williams, the true freshman, with his great speed, and he had a step. But before he came to the turf, the ball came loose. And this is a good call. Applewhite sitting in in the pocket. Watch at the end of the play. The ball comes out, and you definitely have hit Applewhite. Two incompletions in a row after a five for six start. Chris Sims waiting in the background, and down goes Applewhite. Torrance Marshall, the linebacker. They came at him hard on third and long. That number 11 jersey dirty. Stockton's fourth kick, returnable for Thatcher. Stutter step trying to get to the outside. He does, cuts back, breaks one, breaks two. He's got a shot at it. Sooner Nation will gladly accept. Dead ball. Personal foul on a receiving team. 15 yards from the end of one. First down. Punt returns, and on this wet field, he's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, the difference was a cutback to the center of the field. He makes two Longhorns, three Longhorns miss, uses the speed, picks up some blockers, and Jammer, a great play just to make a touchdown saving tackle. And now Oklahoma pretty close. In fact, they are in field goal range. It's hip pocket with the big lead. Fagan around the corner. Inside the five. Oklahoma ran that play last week with Wolfolk for a touchdown. Here, Fagan has them inside the five. Well, Oklahoma's 4-0, and they're playing well early in this football season. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of people across the country right now that are shocked. And Oklahoma, if they can finish off this drive, 
I mean, they're getting ready to run away and hide on this Texas ball club. Machine keeps on rolling to Griffin's third touchdown in the first half. My goodness. It was almost unthinkable, not that someone could jump to a 28-0 lead, but with the dominance on both sides of the ball. Especially with the rain and the weather. Third touchdown for Griffin. And the execution by this offensive line has been wonderful for Oklahoma. You know, all right, Terry, uh, Purdue is, it's, it's a good football team, but not sure they're ready to play with those top teams in the Big Ten. Michigan is loving life. Talked about the vagaries of the polls and the BCS, so Michigan got their loss out of the way early. The change at quarterback we have been speculating upon has been made, and on his first play from scrimmage, Chris Sims completes one to the tight end, Mike Jones, for eight yards. He is developing. He's going to be a great one. Sims rolling out of the pocket, gets rid of it. Texas one of five on third down. Barely get the playoff, and they get the first down. Sims to Roy Williams. It wasn't much, but it was good enough. There are flags down on the far end of the field. I don't think they did get this playoff. Because this stadium is split in half. All the Oklahoma fans are in the end of the field as soon as they're defending here in the second quarter. A big play comes, but the wrong way for Texas. Rocky Kalmus, touchdown. And just as the Longhorns were stumbling along the ropes, Rocky delivers one right between the eyes. This tremendous anticipation, stepping underneath that quick slant. Wow. game today and their dominance is apparent in every facet in every statistic you can look at Quentin Griffin up with his third touchdown and then what may end up being the knockout punch ironically is delivered by a guy named Rocky a 37 yard interception return as you see Major Applewhite has returned to replace Chris Sims quick out flags are down as Montreal Flowers is out of bounds well, as you look at the number 11 jersey of Major Applewhite, earlier we asked you who was the last Longhorn to wear number 11 before Major Applewhite. Well, guess who? It was Ricky Williams, lest you forget. Ricky Williams wore number 11. Into the season, and I think it's affecting his mobility. He's going to keep on throwing from the pocket. Big hill to overcome in this game. Cutting back was Hodges Mitchell. Took a big hit and did not get to the first down. Last couple of years in college football, through the air. But today, it's been old school Oklahoma football in the trenches where they have won every single small battle in a field possession game. And that has set it up for Josh Heupel to throw some major league haymakers. USC. Oklahoma will be going a lot more to the ground. Griffin makes his man miss. Everett rolls the linebacker and then turns the corner for another Oklahoma first down. This is a slippery, elusive back. The adjective you'll always hear is water bug like. You see those numbers. Texas had only been giving up about three and a half yards per play, about half of what Oklahoma has been able to do to them. There are flags in the secondary. Illegal participation on the defense. 15 yard penalty, touchdown. Works, who we talked about, the true freshman is now in as the tailback. Offset to the right of Heupel here on first down. It breaks down Heupel with plenty of time. He's got Works. Up close to yet another Oklahoma first down. Well, seven minutes of change. Texas can get something to work with. And what I mean by that is. If they can get a touchdown or two on the board, they have life. 
but not as long as they're allowing Oklahoma to pick up yards on the ground and pick up first downs. And Went back to Oklahoma instead. The game has completely turned the other way, and you see what Oklahoma has done. Chewing up clock. More flags. Now you're called against Oklahoma. Terrific play by Jammer. You don't feel that rain and cold as much when you're on that Oklahoma sideline up by 35. Wolfrock, who had the first touchdown in this Time game on the middle screen, gets some of the real estate back. A great Oklahoma program. Bosworth wasn't too dominating that year, was he? Heupel. Flares won. Come play Josh Norman. And what a combination this has developed into over the last couple of weeks. Players from this state don't love getting it done against the Longhorn. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is a beautiful ball, but an even better catch. In the ring. Size on the outside. Works the true freshman. Takes a big shot in the back. That one is going to leave a mark. It was Casey Hampton taking out some of his frustration. As long as Heifel takes care of the football, they can mix some pass in. Latrell tripped up at the line, falls forward. Well, and Oklahoma still has to look at Kansas State and Nebraska in a potential matchup against either one of those teams in the Big 12 championship game. Latrell is inside the 10. First and goal, and another third down conversion. Oklahoma is six of seven today on third down. Under previous coaching regimes at Oklahoma, a lot of these players have battled through a lot of adversity, but today there has been no adversity. Touchdown, Fagan. Fagan, one of the trio of freshman receivers to have a big year in 99 and a year older. A year more mature, Fagan just... We told you anything can happen in this game, but who could have imagined this? 42-0 Sooners. <laughs> Belief. 75,000, one of the toughest tickets in the state of Texas to get all year long. The game, if you are not aware, is played in Dallas because it is equidistant, as we like to say, between the two campuses of Norman, Oklahoma, and Austin, Texas, each about a three-hour drive away. Norman, of course, to the north. Ah. Now this rivalry has been played in Dallas since pretty close to the turn of the century and moved to the Cotton Bowl in the late 20s. The stadium hasn't seen this lopside to score in the first half in a long time. The biggest margin of victory in the history of this game was 45 points. Oklahoma shutting out Texas 45 nothing. Look out for another one. Almost picked off by Ante Jones. There are flags down. I think Derek Strait's going to be hit with a flag here. Cornerback. Pass interference. On a defense, defense. it'll be a spot by automatic first down. Discusses sacrifices for success. Welcome to Bob's get together. Finally a big play, Hodges Mitchell into Oklahoma territory. And on through the play goes to Hodges Mitchell. And the Sooner fans are waiting for it. Applewhite has all day, has a man middle of the field, another long pass play and a first down. Now Healy's the Wiley veteran and a nice job by Applewhite to sit in and give Healy a chance to get open and average. Pretty stiff hit right there from the safety position. And got to make it count. Applewhite, the fade, has Williams, end zone, flag flies. They got the interference call again on Derek Strait. Still call pass interference here. Pass interference on the defense. Wow. Automatic first down. Well, Mike Stoops, one of the co-defensive coordinators, pretty hot. And the reason, you know, you, on an uncatchable ball, you're not supposed to drop the flag there. Man. And the Longhorns get something on the board. You bet they can. Hodges Mitchell. Touchdown, Texas. <laughs> How about Major Applewhite? Checks one, two, three choices. Knows where his check down route is. Puts a little handle on that ball for it already might be over.
Well, throughout the day, we've been bringing some of the great moments from the rivalry in recent times. We told you that Ricky Williams struggled in his first game back in 1995. Coughing it up here, Jeremy Alexander had a chance for Oklahoma to win the game, but a high snap, he hooked it left, and it ended in a 24-24 tie. They have dominated their arch rivals in the first half. Stay tuned for Valvoline Halftime 2000 after this message and a word from your ABC station. They don't today, but if you look at the Morgan Stanley Dean Weather first half stats, all the numbers are pretty ugly from the Texas side of things. The Texas Longhorns have been giving up fewer than four yards per play through their first four games of the year, but they're giving up seven per play. With an Oklahoma team that has dominated the line of scrimmage. Third down conversions, David. Extraordinary numbers. Yeah, the 292, a pretty ugly number. And, you know. Applewhite hangs in there and is picked off. JT Thatcher had three interceptions last week. And he opens the third quarter with his sixth of the year. First down, Oklahoma. With this throwing decision by Applewhite. The pressure by Kalmus, the hit in the pocket, and Thatcher. I mean, this kid plays the ball in the air as well as any secondary player I've seen in the country this year. Six interceptions. Time off the clock, and their first possession will get it right back. The Heifel's going to throw as a man. Josh Norman caught it, dropped it, and he's got it back inside the two. Take the recovery with Jammer closing in. How about Griffin for his fourth touchdown of the day? There are flags down. There is a flag down on the play. Offside, defense, penalty decline, touchdown. See right there, Roderick Babers, the cornerback in the neutral zone. For our daunting, four touchdowns in the Red River shootout for Quentin River. In this one today, you see their record in program history. We have seen all of those crazy plays, the big plays, the interceptions. The difference today, every single one of them has gone Oklahoma's way. Sims in the quarterback. And now the natives on the Texas side are starting to get restless. Takeaways for Oklahoma in their first four games, second in the nation, and two today have gone for big yardage. Sims' struggle continues, and Roy Williams, the true freshman wide receiver, has simply not been a factor. And, and tasty. And how about a fried secondary, courtesy of Josh Heupel today. Here comes the shuttle pass. Griffin gets the block he needs, and now he's got a lot of real estate and another first down. Works that shuttle pass to Griffin. Holding it's on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. It's early season. Heibel going to run for it. No hesitation. First down. On second and 15. And the key to that play, no hesitation. They had some real success on the ground. The middle screen is wide open for Fagan. And he's not done. 15, 20 yards at a time. They have just gobbled up yardage against a Texas defense which had been so impressive. Michael just picking whoever he needs on any particular play to pick up yardage, and he has had a lot of success spreading the ball around. He's going to have a great and experienced group of receivers, and he takes over next year. Griffin with another monstrous hole. How often do you see an offensive line dominate in a game of two top 25 teams against each other the way Oklahoma's has today? Man, that has not been the difference. Oklahoma's offensive line just flat out playing Texas. Quentin Griffin rolling his way possibly towards a fifth touchdown. 
the Seminoles fall. Number five, Clemson will play a little bit later. Some of you will see that one on ABC against NC State. Heifel just tucks it. Josh Heifel on the key. Bounds at Lead. Tim Duncan will try a 37-yarder. And he's wide left. Duncan has been up and down in the last couple of years, but running the football. On second down, Sims, who has had a real difficult day, and it just got worse. How about Rocky Kalmus? This Saturday afternoon at the Cotton Bowl. Eternal optimism. It's wasted on the young, is it not? Sims has to break down. He's got a man wide open, finds him. It's Chad Stevens, the fullback. And they got themselves a long first down completion. A storm. In fact, they call them that because they don't like people like us calling them the second team offense. Sims completes one of the tight end, Mike Jones. A true freshman, Brock Edwards, 84, on the bottom right of your screen, replaces Mike Jones. Third down has been a problem for Texas. Sims flares it out. He's got Williams, but where are they going to mark him? Short. And Roy Williams. He came to this game last year as a recruit here at the Cotton Bowl, sat in the stands, and heard the public address announcer make an announcement every time Roy Williams, the Oklahoma safety, made a tackle. And he would have been exceptional this year for Oklahoma. On fourth down, I believe he's got this. They gave him just past the 41 yard line, which is where he needed to get. Yeah. The sophomore, Apple White, a junior. Motion everywhere. Oh, will not get off it in. Other flags will fly as Sims took a shot from Ramon Richardson long after the play had been blown down. And from there, it's anyone's guess. Offside. On the defense, five-yard penalty. Then we have a dead ball. Personal foul on the defense, which is additional 15 yards. First down. Off the phone and talk to. The one thing that he would tell me all the time is just go on to the next play and and don't don't look back at the past, bad or good. You know, just play each situation as it comes to you and uh, don't you know. Just focus on what you have to do during that moment and, and not go any farther than that. Important for young Chris Sims to heed that advice, especially today when things have simply not gone well. The quick out to Roy Williams. That's Artie Ellis, freshman receiver in motion. Sims on second down. Another quick out. Williams has got it. And I'll tell you what, Derek Strait almost took a shot at that football. He knew that was coming because they've had some success throwing it short now to Williams. And Third down, Hodges Mitchell cuts back, but he won't get it. And took an extra pot from Ante Jones for having the nerve to struggle forward. Play clock down to two. Sims going to throw a deep. He's got Williams down there, and it is knocked down by Michael Thompson. And very nearly intercepted again. Oklahoma football. Ronaldo works, true freshman. Loses the ball, but he was already out of bounds. Chiefs. Brent Vanables. Mike Stoops. Now it's Griffin. Going to the outside. Well, we've been looking back at some of the recent games in this series. The Red River Shootout. How about 1996? Judge Jeremy Alexander missing one in 95 in a tie game. Well, this time, he's the hero. Tying the game at 24 and in the first year of overtime and what a football the Red River shootout went to overtime. James Allen the short run giving Oklahoma a 30 to 27 upset win. Here. Feeder one of the real surprises of the NFL season. This play has worked huge for Oklahoma today and this might be the biggest one of all. 
Savage is pushed out inside the 25. Touchdown today. And the end around has been a big play and a nice way to feature Oklahoma's speed on the outside. He almost takes it all the way to the bank. Babers making the saving tackle and Boy, this Oklahoma team, so much talent at the wide receiver position and coming into, the, into this game for yep. Oklahoma. Latrell puts it on the ground. Texas should have it. Going to number 35, Seth Latrell. No longer in contention, obviously. A little eye formation here for Texas. Sims under a lot of heat, and down he goes. Roy Williams coming on the safety blitz. Talked to the Texas staff this week. They made mention more than once that Oklahoma loves to get those safeties involved up near the line of scrimmage. They're a seven-man defensive front. Oklahoma team, you can't keep it down. You've just won your rivalry game on national television by a huge score. It is on the ground, and guess what? Oklahoma's got it back. Michael Thompson. for it about 30 seconds later. And Thompson's going to be the one. Watch him strip the ball with that right hand, and then he makes a recovery. Monson, I think that would be his first choice. He will most certainly have their attention heading into the game at Colorado next week. Quentin Griffin continues on his drive for five afternoon. And a team that was in control of the Big 12 South with a win today as Griffin has his fifth touchdown of the day. The sophomore from Aldine, Texas, adds another extra point for the first time in the history of the Red River Shootout. One of the two teams has broken the 50-point barrier. Five touchdowns today for Quentin Griffin. Well, and when you spread teams out, in short yarded situations, you can take defenders out of the box, away from the line of scrimmage. And Griffin, a nice job of using his vision. Big holes being opened up by this active offensive line for Oklahoma all afternoon long. And In this game, we're 10, 11, 12, 13 of the Oklahoma starters would be kids from the state of Texas. He was not recruited by Texas. Duncan has the shot, doesn't get him. Ike will be caught from behind and pulled down. Michael Thompson drags, drags down Victor Ike. All they will really have to show for it is a lot of playing time for Chris Sims. Hodges Mitchell has been pummeled from pillar to post. His little problem with his rental car last time. He was hit by lightning the last time he was at the GT. Remember, the Mountaineers gave him a lot of problems a year ago. But nowhere near the kind of problems that Chris Sims has faced today. Corey Callens, the sack. Towards the end of the second quarter with a touchdown or two, but Oklahoma having none of it. Sims has time, goes end zone, incomplete. Might get a flag, and we do. Three and a half minutes into this game. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. 100 yard mark and really provides a nice change up for the run offense for the Horns. Not many players on this offense. He's, uh, he's one of the more underrated punt return men that you'll find across the country. They get in motion. Hypo will hands off to Quentin Griffin. I'm a little surprised, maybe not a lot, but a little surprised that uh, Josh Hypo is still the quarterback here for Oklahoma. Well, you'd think that with a 56 to 14 lead, you might want to protect your quarterback. We said at the top that you know, Hypo, the centerpiece of the entire program for Stoops, and you would hate to see him go down with an injury while the game is no longer an issue. And you would think they would want to get Nate Hibble an opportunity to play in this game since he presumably is going to play in it the next couple of years. That's Fagan again in motion. 
Quentin Griffin still going strong, turns the corner. And it's knocked out of bounds after another 16 yards for it. 42. High pull out of the shotgun. As Griffin again, and just continues to roll up huge numbers. Approaching 100 yards. I mean, the season, when you're around Halloween, you're thinking, do I want to take a, a red shirt off a player? But obviously they needed him in the stretch. Look at Heifel throwing back across his body. Trent Smith, the tight end. Inside the two. How calm, cool, and collected is number 14. 51 yards on the catch and run. Well, he has become so good in the pocket, moving, getting reset, and delivering the football. And Smith, I mean, he's come up pretty big himself in this football game. The pocket closes in. Hampton, the consensus All-American. Haven't called his name much this afternoon. Griffin sitting on the edge of history. Didn't get it. Everyone in the stadium knows where the ball's going here. Six touchdowns for Quentin Griffin. And if Quentin's grandkids are watching this tape in the VCR, if they still use VCRs in the years 2050, he was all that and more today. 49 is the number right now. 63 to 14. Well, and, and 50 points, coincidentally, was the largest number of points ever scored in the game. So Oklahoma with a 63, the better that. Jimmy, what the Sean, ones you were? Sean, you probably, you probably uh, <laughs> red dogged everyone on that throwing the football through the, not realizing what a talented scholarship athlete you are, B.J. Johnson. So that's not early and often. That's the kind of defensive aggressiveness we have seen from Oklahoma. That was, by the way. Teddy Lehman, true freshman, made that tackle. Now the bench is starting to empty a little bit. Sims. Well, they had another one picked off. He was looking for Williams, and Williams hangs on to that. We might have ourselves a foot race. We're away from Norman. But today, their first game away from their home campus today has been one. Works the true freshman getting pushed out of bounds and get the ball downfield type of offense for the Sooners. Oklahoma, Kansas State next week. Your game. thoughts, Mr. Norrie? Offense, five yard penalty. Repeat third down. Give Kansas State a bit of an edge there just because the game's being played in Manhattan. Dangerous shuttle pass, but it's going to pay off just like everything else today. Works to the outside, gets pushed out of bounds, and boy, Hibble was under a lot of duress and put that shuttle pass through a lot of big bodies wearing white. And you have got to take your hat off to the staff and the players for Oklahoma. Works gets tripped up. What jammer? With as much momentum as Works almost got free, and he's close to a first down. It should be fourth down, 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 down. Aspirations. Uh, I don't think this team is as good as a lot of people thought to enter the season. Miscommunication on the snap. That's going to be Texas ball anyway on downs. Walker playing in their final game here at the Cotton Bowl, their final Texas Oklahoma game at the Cotton Bowl. Big hit by Straight. He pounds Kenny Hyder after the pass reception. Fish to fry. Rock Edwards, that's the true freshman tight end with his second career catch. And he is good enough for a first down. You know, on, on 
that's all all good, Sean, but you know the game experience is where you really make the biggest steps. Incomplete. And out of the hands. North of the Red River, that's for sure. And, and I think that's why we saw Hypel in the game so long. Sims pass is deflected and falls incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. Bobby Jack Wright is the defensive ends coach for Oklahoma, longtime recruiter, as an assistant coach at Texas for 12 years. How many more big plays do they have in the arsenal? Works is knocked out of bounds. works to the outside. Patrick Fletcher is the new quarterback for Oklahoma. We will get a series here. Flags down is going to come back. On the offense. I like when they throw you. And then. <laughs> well, things are starting to degenerate a little bit. And that can happen in a 63 to 14 game. This is not an upset here today. But the margin of victory and the sheer dominance at the line of scrimmage has been stunning. There is a new player in the BCS title chase, and it resides in Norman, Oklahoma. An exceptional performance, start to finish. The Sooners are 5-0. and The city of Dallas belongs to the Sooners tonight. And Bob Stoops. What a job preparing this football team.